Originally only available for DaVinci Resolve, Dehancer has finally come to Premiere Pro and After Effects for PC. Dehancer is an all-in-one color grading solution. It can be used in a broad variety of ways, adding everything from film stock emulation and film grain to more stylistic effects such as bloom and halation among other things. There's a ton of classic filmic profiles to choose from including Agfa, Fuji Color, Fuji Film, Kodak, Polaroid and many others. Currently there's around 60 unique profiles from film and photography. It's pretty incredible that the Dehancer team have managed to recreate some iconic film stock looks for you to use. See, I had made my peace with myself many years ago that the iconic look of the Kodak film stock was a thing of the past. Well, thanks to Dehancer, I can bring back this look with all the added benefits that modern cameras bring to the table. Along with the film profiles, you can input the type of log you recorded in camera. Right now there's a bunch of pre-made camera profiles and more on the way in the future. I'd love to see some more higher grade cinema cameras catered for, such as the Sony FX9 log profiles and Aria mirror, just to name a couple that I use here and there. For the most part, the default Rec 709 should be a good starting point and there's a few other log versions there that you can use. You can time map most of the controls, meaning that you can change the color profile relatively seamlessly within one shot say from an interior to exterior shot or perhaps a dramatic reenactment that morphs into the present. Really, the options are only limited by your creativity here. Honestly, many of the functionality goes over my head as I'm not a professional color grader. However, I can see tremendous value for those who are in the know to help get the absolute maximum out of the footage to shoot the style of any project. Some of my favorite features have to be the halation and bloom effects. These effects do exactly what you'd expect from their namesake. There's a whole lot of options to tweak with the effects to give you just that right amount of bloom and halation for dramatic effect that you desire. For me, it's like having a Pro Mist option in post, whereas before, if we didn't use a Pro Mist filter, well, too bad, it won't be in the final look. My third favorite feature is grain. Now, unlike many film grain emulation tools that are out there that just add a layer of grain over the image, Dehancer's grain interprets what it sees in the image and adds grain depending on the level of detail in each pixel captured. This allows you to add realistic film grain easily. This can be really handy when dealing with cameras and lenses that have that, you know, hyper sharpened look such as Zeiss CP lenses among others. Of course, this is purely an aesthetical choice. Sometimes you want that hyper sharp look, but I love having the option to add in authentic film grain. Adding features like EV adjustment is pretty handy if you want to convert the overall look to compensate for the exposure value as captured in camera. I find this is much better than the default exposure settings in Lumetri Color. Another really neat feature is false color. This is a really quick way to see your IRE values and determine if the footage is correctly exposed and sharp where you need it to be. Another awesome feature is the LUT export option. Say you've made a grade that you really want to save for a future project, Dehancer makes it really easy to export the overall grade into a LUT, giving you two options for the scale, which is the detail of the LUT, including 17 cube and 33 cube. This is excellent. If you really want, you can stack multiple instances of Dehancer Pro in your effects panel. For me, I like to keep things neat and not overly complicated, but the option is there if you like that kind of workflow. Overall, Dehancer can be used in your projects subtly or intensely to give you just that right look you're after. Plus the added benefit of many film stock profiles is a nice touch. It's really easy to use, but it also gives you very deep control over each effect with many parameters for you to play with. Finally, it's worth mentioning that the render and processing times will have an impact. Now, depending on your system, you may only see a slight slowdown in Premiere Pro timeline. 
However, outputting video with lots of dehancer effects can be quite slow in my opinion. Though your experience may vary depending on what settings and what video formats you're using. For the record, I did this whole 4K project on an NVIDIA 1070 GTX graphics card with 32 gigabytes of memory and an i7 CPU. So take that how you will. The full version of Dehancer Pro is available now on PC for DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro and After Effects. The team at Dehancer have told me that the Mac version of the plugin will be available in the near future. So if you prefer that, you hopefully won't have to wait too much longer to get your hands on this awesome color grading plugin. If you want to check it out, you can use my link below or head directly to the Dehancer website. Catch you next time. Bye for now.